Section 220.12 and its accompanying table were first introduced in the 1971 NEC, and they provided general lighting load values for specific occupancies. Occasional revisions were made over the years to a few occupancies. One problem was that responding to the latest improvements in lighting technologies would produce one result if applied in a state that had adopted a recent edition of the National Energy Code, but different outcomes for states that retained the standards of earlier editions. One step towards standardizing energy codes nationwide occurred when the 2009 Federal Stimulus Program was made dependent on states adopting the 2009 IECC and ASHRAE 90.1 2007 edition. Almost all the states adopted those energy codes in order to qualify for federal funds. Considerably stronger energy efficiency standards for residences were incorporated into the 2012 and 2015 editions of the IECC, as well as to the 2010 and 2013 editions of ASHRAE 90.1. Many states have not upgraded their residential energy codes since the 2009 IECC, although some have continued to adopt newer editions of commercial energy codes in both ASHRAE 90.1 and the IECC. What has been even more widespread than adoption of more energy efficient building codes has been the transformation of standard commercial lighting from fluorescent or HID to LED along with advanced sensor and power management systems. Together with the commercial energy codes adopted in most states, the savings in energy used to light commercial occupancies has increased greatly, especially for new construction. Given these developments, the technical committees of the NEC recognized it was time to overhaul this core set of provisions. Prior versions of section 220.12 and its companion table provided lighting load values for calculations for 17 specific occupancies, including dwellings. But remember, this change is significant. The 2020 NEC has now made a complete renovation to 220.12, and now dwelling unit lighting load calculations are dealt with in 220.14. Section 220.12 and the accompanying table now apply to 29 different occupancies and the values are based on current industry input. This is an important change that'll definitely impact every one of us. I encourage you to take a couple of moments to look at table 220.12 before you move on.